All right, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to talk about boards. You can see right here in my curriculum, we're going to cover boards. So let's go to the this upper left hand menu here, and we're going to click on switch to Trello. Okay. And then we're going to keep talking about this workspace right here, but we're going to cover boards. So let's click on boards. Okay, now in the previous video, we talked about getting started. That menu has completely disappeared, as you can see here because we went through the checklist and did all the things that they wanted us to do. Okay. Um, and then here, this is where they have board. So for example, I can close this out just so that we have kind of a cleaner interface here. Um, in the previous video, we were talking about how to work with automation. So we created a board and we called it sample board zero one. Okay. Now what I want you to do is create another board and let's do a deeper dive into boards. Okay. So we get a better understanding of what boards are all about. Now, one thing that I didn't talk about when I made it before is you can change the background. So we can have a palm tree, we can have mountains, we can have kind of like a ocean side road here. We can change it to blue, orange, green, red, and then you can also change the colors to something else. So we can see more photos. Okay, so we can do like a mountain, um, you know, cool looking pictures here. And I just clicked on the guy's thing there, but um, so you can select out whatever image you want here. And they got some really cool looking images here. Um, so there's a lot to choose from, but again, I'm gonna go like that. That's kind of cool looking. Um, so there's a lot of different cool looking photos that you can pick from. So I'm gonna just use that. And then we can start with a template. So we don't have to create a blank board like we did before. We can actually select a template okay so we could go to business and select a business template and then add that to our um, workplace so and workspace I should say so we can use this template okay so let's call it business plan and workspace zero one there you go let's click on create it's going to create the board and then that will pop up. And then what we'll do is we'll kind of go through. And so you can see here, this is a business plan. So we used the template of business plan so that we can get started. We can hit the ground running. Okay. You can work off of this and also it gives me the ability to explain to you what exactly they're doing and how you can use this in your own boards if you start from scratch. Okay. So you'll notice here at the bottom, there's a scroll bar, so we can scroll to the right, and they have a lot of different cards here. And if we add, uh, we can add a, another list here and then add cards there, okay? So if you wanted to do that, you could do that. Um, but you can see here, when I click on this, uh, we don't have our Butler button, okay? It's only, um, it's only on the first workspace that we created, okay? But you can customize it for each um, board that you have, okay? Or workspace, however you want to define that, okay? And then, uh, so then we have use cases. So we have description here. Um, so you can write a, a deep description there. And you'll notice here that they just wrote kind of like a title here. So that's all that shows up. And then here they wrote a more, a description, okay? And then also there's an activity right here. So we can write a comment. So this is awesome. Okay. I'll hit save. And then that will pop up there. And you'll notice the little icon here. So we have a comment. And then we also have this little icon. You are watching this card. So you notice how that changed because I added a comment and I'm watching. Okay. So if we edit this, I'll hit save. But when you write a new comment, nice. Okay. Hit save. And then you'll have two comments now and, and still one person watching. Okay. Then we have this. So we have an image that we added and this is just a cover. So you can put a cover on each individual uh, board and card, I should say. You can put a, put a uh, cover on there. So it kind of gives you a visualization of what you're talking about or what you're doing. So this example is executive summary. Okay. Then we have product service description. And then just all the way down, there's all these different details. Okay. 
And then you have introduction for the company overview, mission statement, history and current status, markets and products, objectives. Product or service description, there's another image there. And then as we go down the, the line here, you can see do something great, introduction, and this is operation, development with computers and people coding, and that's cute. Management, so people managing, and then summary of financials, okay? And then offering, okay? And then as I go down here, then we have references and appendices, okay? So you get the idea of how you can kind of make a cool looking uh, board using a template. This is the easiest way to get started. Now you don't have to use templates at all, but what I recommend doing is if you have a specific task that you want to accomplish, let's say that it's similar to what I was showing you in the previous video where I was talking about how I set up uh, my production for creating courses. I have pre-production, production, post-production, post -production, and then launched. If that's what you're doing, or if you're doing development, so you're doing um, development, launched, whatever your process is, if you don't find a template that works for you, you can always look through the templates and find one and then interchange them together, you know, blend them together. And what I mean by that is take chunks from one template and another and then add those to your custom board. That way you get the experience that you're looking for, okay? So that's board. So I'm gonna click on the three little, the nine little squares here and click on switch to Trello. And that is boards, okay? So that's how you get started with boards and it's a little deeper dive into boards. All right, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.